So, hey guys, what's going on in Las Vegas today, tomorrow, and the future? Fur, 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 fur. I don't have an echo, so we had to put that one in there. But uh, the Formula One update thing is uh, in front of the Bellagio, they're cutting off the trees. So, yeah, if you're a tree fan and you a tree lover out there, and... Um, I'm kind of disheartened by this because these trees are 25 years old and they just decided to just up and cut them off. And I thought they were going to pluck them out of the ground because they're in like a planter, uh, a wedge shaped planter for the trees that just kind of sit below the sidewalk. I thought they were going to just lift them up, but apparently not. They're just going to cut them down, carefully remove the trees and hopefully the media doesn't go crazy but i think it's a, a horrible thing uh because the uh, time constraints on their part is uh just horrible but anyways that's what's going on all that arena the basketball thing uh i hear what was uh, approved uh, according to uh, vital vegas on his twitter feed he posted something that was uh in my opinion another disheartening news story because where they want to put it is between it's between uh, the Sahara and Fountain Blue or the Facebook building because it's got an FB on it. We call it Facebook. I don't think it's a very good location because of traffic, but they want to do it anyway. So I think this idea of a basketball NBA structure in that area, the traffic is going to be horrendous. Not only that is all the other sporting events that are up and down the strip. They're going to be probably going on at the same time. Just depends on what month everything falls on. But it's going to be a complete standstill. I like the idea of having it south of the Strip. Further south, down where they're going to have that high-speed rail station being built. I think that would be a more suitable place for an NBA uh, village, really. That's what they want to do. Uh, the Oakville Group expressed uh, their interest in that area so i think it's a uh, a good idea for them to build there now this is what our city does it's just like oh that sounds like a great idea let's just do it and they have uh, years and invested in this so what does this all mean for you if you're coming here and we have a future nba team that um is playing basketball here for that area on the north end where sahara is and the fountain blue they want it in between there it is going to be a complete mess. If you're coming in from the airlines to a basketball game, you'll be pressed to even get to it because it'll take literally probably an hour to an hour and 40 minutes just to try to get to your destination. That's how bad it's going to be. The And hopefully we get this uh, underground Tesla boring tunnel thing going and moving and all that stuff. That's future down the road stuff, but... Uh, I think we're going to deal with a lot of traffic issues in Las Vegas, and hopefully they can figure out something to do. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if you're coming from a cab, a ride share, or autonomous car. It doesn't matter because you're going to be sitting in traffic just to try to get to the north end. Even when it's busy here, uh, to get to the stratosphere, for example, if it's really busy here and there's a conference going on at the convention centers and all that stuff, it's difficult to get people uh, to the stratosphere and even to the downtown area because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of traffic. You still have to do with uh, shift change, employees coming and going, all that stuff. So there's a lot of factors into this that it's really just a bad idea to build there in the first place, even though they really want to be on the strip and they really want to, you know, have a showcase of like NBA stuff. I think it's, you know, they have good intentions, but as far as getting traffic and logistically getting people around in that area is a really bad idea. I think they're going to have a lot of problems in the future for this. So hopefully, I don't know what happened to the Oakview group and their intentions of having their you know, uh, NBA Village on the south end where the uh, high-speed rail is going. But I think that's a better option because it's away from the strip and you can get people there quicker to their venue as opposed to going all the way through the strip, whether it be a cab or private limo or whatever it might be. They're going to have a lot of people st sitting in traffic just because of that. 
But if you have it at the south end of the strip, traffic is a different flow. There's really not much going on in that flow of direction. I think you're going to have more uh, of an ease of, of traffic and getting to a venue because it's the opposite way of the north end. You don't want it near all kinds of busyness in the convention areas and people coming and going. You have pretty much a, almost a direct route to that area uh, on the south end. So that's what I think about this all net arena. I think it's just a bad idea, even though their intentions are good. I think, uh, you know, just the traffic and logistically, it's not going to work. Uh, the Oakville group, I don't know what happened. I'm not sure if they just bugged out or if they got outbidded. But uh, we don't know if the city even had intentions of putting their stuff on green light anyway. So that's just what I think about that. So it's kind of disheartening. It's going to be a real problem here in Vegas. So we'll see what happens. We don't even know if they're going to build. Even though it's approved, they, they, they said they got funding and all this stuff. But who knows what's going to happen. And uh, that's all I have for that one. The, uh, the Switching over to the Formula One, the Formula One paddock building. A paddock is basically where you, a storage area where you put the cars. Now, Formula One has that gigantic paddock in the back of uh, Planet Hollywood there, just off of Covell and Harmon in that corner. They bought that area and built a gigantic paddock, but we can't call it a paddock because of uh, a, a person here last name is paddock that uh shot a bunch of people on october 1st and uh that's his name the shooter so we can't call it that because it reminds people of too much but a paddock building is where you store automobiles you know it's a giant garage and for this one in vegas it's going to be like a party barge a party uh, destination for that because when there's no race going on like Formula One they're gonna basically have it a visitor attraction so there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on so they have to switch the name you know so I don't know what they're gonna switch it to how about just Formula One thing the Formula One thing because we can't say the word paddock uh, but so you got things like that going on so the sphere what's going on inside the sphere so the sphere Latest news on the Sphere is uh, they're going to have a no restaurants, just a pizza and a burger joint in there. Who knows what it's going to be? Nobody knows yet, but that's that's what the consensus is on that. And uh, they're that's it. That's all you're getting. You're going to have concerts. You're going to have a 16K resolution screen that's on there. You're going to watch some awesome high def stuff and have a wow factor so if you're really bored on the strip you go to uh the sphere october 3rd i think third or sixth it starts to open up with the uh, regular filming stuff but september, tw september 29th is u2 they're gonna uh do the inaugural concert there which i think is a good thing and i also hear that fish may play at the sphere on new year's eve so if you're a fish fan and you like all the trippy stuff on the screen that'd be a good thing for them to do that there as well. So I, I think we're going to have a lot of visual artists coming in to do the sphere. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if the, they should uh, add something or take something away. Should they have restaurants in there? Should they allow food in the, the area? I don't know, but uh, I think it's going to be quite a interesting thing as uh, things progress and unfold there as they figure out the, the finer uh, ways to improve things around here. Uh, so as far as the Fountain Blue, they're still working on things, the Fountain Blue, but it's getting better as far as the outside look goes. Still think it's kind of stale, but they're improving the sidewalk areas. So the sidewalk areas are actually opening up. You can see glass, you can see kind of inside and the stair steps to go in, all that stuff. That all looks pretty good. We'll have some video for that for that as well. So that's going to be open up, I think, the first of the year, they said. Maybe closer to December because of the casino floor will probably open first, kind of like what they did over at Resorts World. But so that's going to add another, you know, 3,400 to 3,600 rooms, I believe, something like that. Um, so that's a good thing. So the rainfall that we had last week um, was very significant as far as the monsoon thing that we had. 
hurricane really didn't affect us that much. It was the rains after it, the monsoon rains that came after it. It did fill up Lake Mead. The water levels have risen, obviously. Some people got swept away by the water. Uh, there's a couple of people, I think, uh, I think one person passed away. They got, uh, they drowned in it or something. I don't know. I'm not sure the, all the details on that, but somebody had perished from that. And unfortunately, that is uh, not good because, you know, the floodwaters in the, uh, the rain that sweeps through is pretty strong, pretty horrific. And uh, you get caught in that and you can be in trouble. Cyber truck. Everybody's uh, looking forward to the new cyber truck delivery. There's one that's been spotted here in Las Vegas using a charging station. And uh, I have to be honest with you, it looks kind of like a poly shape to it. I don't know the full details of this truck, but uh, it's just very interesting. I don't know if you're going to, I don't know if you'd buy one of these or um, I don't, I just don't see the uh, value in it. It's uh, kind of a gimmick. And hopefully maybe it'll gimmicks work for Tesla, but we'll see what happens. But they were spotted here in Las Vegas doing a trip around. I'm sure they're just testing their vehicles and all that stuff. So uh, it was spotted here in Las Vegas, but that's kind of the news I have for that so far. But as Las Vegas quickly approaches Halloween, I will have like a Halloween breakdown. I'm kind of in a Halloween spirit myself. I do... Dressed up like Hunter S. Thompson, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Great movie. Anyways, Halloween is going to be a big thing here. It is a kind of a big deal here because everyone loves Halloween for some reason. And uh, it's quite fun and um, all kinds of neat stuff that goes on here. But I'll have a breakdown of all that in the next video. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.